Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited and thought this would be the perfect time to share with you guys my other hobby um, of what I do other than soap making during my busy weekend. I like to keep busy and this is super fun. If you guys have a wholesale Goodwill in your town, I highly recommend checking it out. I'm just going to pan over and show you guys what I got um, besides that purse over there that I already had that one. But I just kind of threw everything out here before I put it away and thought I'd share with you guys what I got. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. I got all of this stuff that you see for a total of $50 at the Wholesale Goodwill. A lot of it's brand new, still has the tags on it. Um, but I'm going to show you guys piece by piece of what I got. I love going here and it's super addicting just because everything is 99 cents a pound if you buy 25 pounds or more. If you don't buy 25 pounds or more, um, it's like a dollar or something, a dollar 25 or a dollar 50 a pound. So I highly recommend trying to get to the 25 pound mark so you get it cheaper. So I'm just going to start over here. Most of this stuff I do for eBay. Um, I sell a lot of stuff in my spare time. It's really addicting, and it's kind of like my second job besides my soap making. So, what I do is I just kind of go through there. They have a lot of bins out, like carts, and you just dig through those, and they keep bringing new stuff out, so you kind of have to be quick. It's kind of like a Black Friday feeling over there. So I found this Victoria's Secret pink hoodie. These usually sell really good on eBay. Then I found this hooded jacket. Most of the time when I'm looking for eBay stuff, I end up finding something for myself. <laughs> um, you have to kind of be familiar with brands of, and what's in style and what's worth something. I wasn't very familiar with this brand, but I saw it looks like it says $120 on it. And I looked up online and they are worth a lot, this clothing brand. Um, but I think I'm just going to keep this for myself. It's so warm and comfy and I live in Minnesota, so it's really chilly here even during the summer nights. Um, it says luxury, unique, casual, quality, happy clothes. So I really like that. It's a nice long gray kind of sweatshirt jacket. If you guys know anything about that, comment down below. I'm really interested in more um, information about that brand. Next, oh my gosh, my purse just fell. Next I got this top. And this is from Target. The tag is still on there. Um, there is a Goodwill tag. And there, you can see the clearance tag was still on here from Target. Um, this was the Massimo brand. I wish there was a way I could show you guys more clear what it looks like. Maybe this will help. Just this really cute, fancy, long top. Kind of like a little summer dress. I'd probably wear some leggings with that because it's kind of short. But you can see it was $5.99 and probably like $14 at least brand new. I'm not going to spend too much time on everything because I got a lot here to show you guys. Um, next I found this Carhartt hat. I'll probably give my husband or his dad. Then I found these brand new Shops, Shopkins sticker treats. Thought my niece would enjoy those. Um, and then I found, I got, I'm going to definitely wash everything too because some of this is used. This Mountain Hardware hat and this brand is usually really expensive. I'm just going to go over here now. And I did find some really cute kids clothes to save. I am turning 30 next week so definitely time to start saving up clothes. Um, especially when I find good deals like this. I love bargains. Um, this is a brand new jean jacket, Star Wars. I'm trying to see if the print, let's see what it says it used to be. It was $27.99, then it was $13.98. And being it's by the pound, I think it's probably 50 cents for me or less. Look at how cute that is. I could not pass that up. Even if I have to save it for like five years, totally worth it. Um, clothes don't really go bad if you have it in a really nice area um, saved up. 
I'm trying to see the size, but I can't see it. It says a small, but we'll see. Definitely going to save that for the years to come. Um, you definitely don't want mold or mildew getting in your new clothes, so i got to figure that out. Then I found this brand new face mask. It's a sheet mask. I can't believe they had that there. It used to be $4. Face masks are really expensive. And then I found this puzzle. I really love puzzles that have tiny little different pictures inside of it. And how perfect is that? This probably is a little bit heavier. Probably cost me two bucks at the most. It's pretty heavy. Then they had lots of Christmas um, bins pulled out from Target. Um, this is a puzzle ball. Still wrapped and brand new. A lot of this stuff I thought would be really fun and awesome for like white elephant gifts being they're still brand new. I'm going to show you some more kids clothes that I found. Brand new. Um, here is a cute little onesie. It says peekaboo. You can see the tag from um, Target was still on there. And then they put the Goodwill tag on it. They probably weren't able to sell it and that's why it ended up at the wholesale Goodwill. This was a three to six month. And I'm definitely going to wash this stuff before I use it. I found this cute little top. This probably cost me like 10 cents at the most. It's so lightweight. Then I found two matching outfits. These are so adorable. I've been seeing a lot of Cat and Jack brand clothing that I really like. Um, I like the style of those clothes. This is 18 month. But it's kind of hard for me to show you because it still kind of has its tags on. It's getting stuck there. But here's what the shirts look like. Really cute. And it comes with a cute rainbow pants. So I got that set and then another set. Um, that month and age the baby or toddler is going to be crawling. So it doesn't hurt to have more than one pair. And then I found this pair of pants that didn't come with the top, but that's okay. Then I found these chapsticks. Brand new. I found this bumper car little toy. And I think there was a gift card on here, but I was kind of interested in what that is right there. Then I got lots of tapes. Kind of Christmassy tapes tapes. If you guys know what you're supposed to do with these, let me know. I'm not sure if they're just meant to be put on where the tape usually goes when you're wrapping gifts or wrapped around to make it look like a ribbon. But these usually were each a dollar. And I probably paid like five cents each. They're so, they like hardly weigh anything and I got multiple colors. And then I found these paper fans. Really cute, usually $3. A big ring Christmas ornament. They hang on a tree. This fruit scooper. Here's some of the white elephant gifts I'm kind of showing you guys. Uh, Marvelous Marbles. You can see it's brand new, never opened. Doesn't say price on there. Mm -hmm. Then I got this scratch a design on here, and I opened it up, and it is still brand new. I thought that'd be fun. Nice white elephant gift for myself. Then I got some Christmas stickers. That one and some candy canes. I thought these would be fun for decorating my soap orders on the outside of the boxes when people order for the holidays. Then I found the snowman puzzle. You can see it used to be $7.99, then it was five, and then I got it for however much it weighs. This cute ornament. I forgot her name, but she's from Aladdin. I couldn't pass this up. It's like a turkey leg. Christmas ornament stuffed. <laughs> and I found this Tamagotchi buried in the Christmas um, decorations. I can't believe I found that. I've always wanted one. This looks like a mini keychain one. How fun is that? I saw this other lady saw me get one and she dug and dug and dug and she found one. Darn it. I wish I found that one too. It was pink. And then I got these cute gift tags. Can never have too many gift tags. 
more paper fans, more tape, this Beauty and the Beast stuffed animal. Probably give that to my niece for Christmas. And I got um, Santa gift sacks, usually $3 each. I thought these would be perfect for like when you have family gifts but they don't show up for Christmas and you celebrate another time, just give them their bag of gifts next time you see them. So I got one, two, three, four, um, which is kind of a really cute gift bag idea. Then I found that cute jar here. I'll probably make some candles and maybe try to sell this one at a craft sale or something. Cute ornament, brand new. Got some more of these. Can never have too many. Got a bunch of these there. I thought I could make a bunch of candles to sell on my um, website. I actually got a lot of multicolored ones of those. Got this Star Wars um, toothbrush that lights up and timed. That'd be good to save or give to my nephew. Found my husband some shoes here. Some of the stuff I'm going to be selling on eBay, so if you guys are interested, I'll let you guys know when they'll be posted. Timberland slip-on men's shoes. Birkenstocks. I might just keep these for myself, being they're a little bit tore on the back here. And this blanket, which would be perfect for picnics, brand new, still has tags on it. Some Sorel boots. And then some Red Wing shoes, some more Birkenstocks, some Sperry's over there. Some Harley Davidson boots. Um, Doc Martens. And, sorry, those Uggs back there look brand new. They're really stiff yet too, like hardly even worn. That was a steal. Those were kind of buried underneath the suitcase and thank God I found them because people were by their shoe bins like vultures. So, oh, and then these Victoria's Secret pink pants. That would be fun to try to sell. Kind of a strange macaroni and cheese color. Kind of, um, what do you call it? Looks like these were one of the first ones made. Kind of vintage Victoria's Secret. Those cute slipper socks. What else didn't I show you? Just this cute black top I found for myself. Um, this was a steal. This is a really expensive brand from REI. It's just a really nice warm um, sweatshirt. That was a good find. Then I got some swim bottoms, brand new. Some woman's capris. I thought those were cute. A high-waisted swim bottom, which I've never tried. I'm really excited. And a black top, brand new, to go with it. Let's see if I can show you guys that a little bit better. It's really cute. You guys can see it's kind of crisscrossy in the front. And the tag is still on there, kind of. And that's pretty much it. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you guys like watching these kind of videos because I can do one for you every time I go. Um, I've been doing this for probably a few months now. That would be about time to share with you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And please subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!